Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetFuel.com and today we are going to do a quick unboxing and full review of the Spy School Pad MI515 which is the model number of this device. We are going to do the quick unboxing and full review of this device and this is how the package looks like. Uh, so at the package we have some specifications and the features of the device mentioned. So it has DTS sound, uh, you have HSPA plus with video calling support on this device so you have 3G support. You have 1.2 GHz quad core processor on this device which should be MediaTek 6589 and we will just confirm that. And if we take a look over here we have the Spice Cool Pad branding. At the back side of the device or the back side of the box we have the specification of the device mentioned. So it is a 5 inch QHD IPS display device. You have Android 4.1 Jelly Bean running on this device. You have 4 GB of ROM and 1 GB of RAM. You have 2000 mAh battery on this device which is pretty good and you have a memory SD card slot as well with which you can actually expand the storage and you can use micro SD memory card up to 32 GB maximum. When it comes to other specifications so it has it is a dual sim phone one slot will support 3G the other one will support 2G. You have GPS assist, assisted GPS and GMS as well. You have 5 megapixel autofocus camera at the back. Whereas at the front you have a fixed focus VGA camera. You have Wi-Fi connectivity. The device thickness is around 9.9 mm, which is fairly okay. And the resolution is QHD, that is 916 to 540. And you have Bluetooth 4 3.0, LED flash, gravity sensor, light sensor, asymmetry sensor as well on this device. So let's unbox this and let's take a look what we have in the package. So in the package we should get a handset, a travel charger. Uh, stereo headset, one USB cable, one battery, 2000 mAh, user manual, after sale, sales service center lift as you can see and the MRP of this device is 13,990 whereas it is easily available for a price of around 10,000 or approximately in between 9 to 10,000 in the market as of now. So the first thing which we have got in the box is the Spice Cool Pad MI515 and this is how the device looks as you can see so this device comes in different colors here we have the blue black variant of this device let's take a look what we have in the package and then we will come on to the device later on let me just remove this so you get a standard USB charger within the package with an output current of 1 ampere you get the micro USB to USB cable a standard one and then you get the standard earphones within the package or you, I should say the headphones and they are again uh, not very good quality they are very plastic kind of standard headphones which you will get they don't have a metallic mesh again everything is just like plastic and not very good in terms of the overall quality as far as these headphones are concerned you also have a button to pick the call and you also have a mic over here on this module to talk whenever you are using these headphones you can take voice calls as well and this is how the audio lead looks like as you can see apart from this if we take a look over the package you have the user manual which comes within the package the warranty card the spice service center list and that's all which we have in the package we have already inserted the battery inside the device uh, and this is a 2000 mAh battery when it comes to the slot the sim card slot the sim card slot are for the normal size sim card this one is for 3g the sim card slot one and this one is for 2g and here you have the micro sd memory card slot which is hot swappable again you just need to remove the back cover and you can remove the micro sd card whenever you want to now taking a look over the device the device has a glossy back cover uh, which will again get some fingerprints over time and it won't get the scratches very easily but again it is kind of glossy back cover if you like it you have the loudspeaker placement over here you have the spice cool pad running over here you have a 5 megapixel camera with led flash and this is aluminium finish which we have over here looks pretty good on the top you have the 3.5 mm audio jack here you have the micro usb port for data syncing and charging which is again on at the top here you have the nice shiny plastic volume rocker which gives you good amount of feedback you have a little indent to remove the back cover and at the bottom you have the primary mic for voice calling we are not able to locate a secondary mic on this device for noise cancellation and video chat and whereas on this side on the right on the top you have the power and sleep key and that's it 
that's that that's all the buttons which we have on the device now when it comes to the front you have the nice metallic earpiece over here you have the vga camera the fixed focus vga camera you have cool flat branding over here as well at the bottom on the front you have the touch capacitor buttons which are not within the screen they are on the body now in terms of the overall design the device is nicely designed you have rounded edges over here on the back side which again makes it easy to hold in one hand quite nice grip which you get when you hold the device apart from this when it comes to the thickness of the device the thickness of the device is around 1 cm uh, approximately because it is 9.9 mm and again the device is not very heavy uh, the weight of the device is 161 g which is fairly okay for a device like this and it has a 5 inch ips lcd display and the resolution is 514 to 960 and this is how the display looks like as you can see and again if you actually take a closer look over the display you might notice certain amount of softness in the pixels when it comes to tick formation but again you won't notice much pixels with the naked eyes as far as the pixel density is concerned on this 5 inch of display you get around 220 pixels per inch uh, with a resolution of 514 to 960 which as far as the viewing angles are concerned the viewing angles for this display are quite wide but still you can view the screen from any viewing angle uh, either from the top or the bottom left or from the right as well so the back camera on the device is 5 megapixel and it is capable of taking photos at maximum resolution of 2592 into 1944 pixels and it does have led flash as well for uh, low light photography and you also have auto focus supported on so the version of android running on this device out of the box is 4.1.2 as you can see now as far as internal storage concerned you have 4 gb of internal storage on this device out of which 0.92 is reserved by the operating system for applications and other data which is there uh, when it comes to the available storage available to the user it is around 1.77 gb and right now 1.34 gb is available after we have installed some apps and stored some picture videos and other data on this phone and you also have the micro sd memory card support and when when it comes to installation you can also select the default right disk as the micro sd memory card once you insert the micro sd memory card into this device get the apk installer which will allow you to install application from the phone storage or from the sd card in case you have the apk file for the same so you also have support for automatic brightness on this device because of the proximity and ambient light sensor which are over here on this device i don't know whether you can see them you have support for live wallpapers video wallpapers and static wallpapers are obviously supported on this device So out of 1 GB of RAM which we have on this device you have around 399 MB of RAM which is used and you get around 578 MB of RAM for free for installing more games and heavy applications as well in case you want to which is, this device can also be used for GPS navigation and for this you just need to enable GPS satellite over here once you enable access to my location and under GPS satellite make sure you enable GPS EPO systems and assisted GPS before you can use this device for navigation As far as audio settings are concerned we do not see any audio enhancement options with over here if we go under the general settings we do not see any audio enhancement options within the sound settings on this device you also have the option of sharing the internet on this device the 3g internet with the help of creating a wifi hotspot so you can create a wifi hotspot to share the 3g internet you also have support for usb tethering on this device as you can see So this is how the phone dialer look like and again you have the video call option directly on the phone dialer which will be good if you want to do a video call directly. So this is how the messaging application looks like and again in terms of the look and feel it is the stock android messaging application which we have seen but there are some new things which we have noticed as far as the keyboard is concerned you can actually hide the keyboard like this uh, whenever you want to. When it comes to the keyboard keys they are pretty big in size so you won't face any problem while typing on this device. especially when it comes to swipe to type you do not have swipe to type supported on this device uh, when it comes to the other options you can actually access the different languages keyboard by just tapping over here and you can switch in between the different keyboard which you have on this device you can also change it to the hindi keyboard as you can see by just tapping over here which is pretty good now this is how the home screen look like and as you can see we have like five home screen and we can increase the home screen so the ui is little bit customized in terms of the overall look and feel you can also set any one of these home screen as default home screen but as notification center is concerned the notification center is kind of basic which we have seen on 
uh, stock Android devices running Android Jelly Bean 4.1 and you have the toggle for the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything over here as you can see you can also adjust the brightness now if we take a look over the system information which we have on this device the device model number is Spice MI515 the product is Goodpack 7295i and you have ARMB7 processor on this device clocked at 1.2 GHz it is a quad core processor as you can see and it is MediaTek 6589 chipset you have the effective resolution which is 514 to 960 and the GPU is PowerVR SGX 544MP when it comes to the sensors you have 3 axis accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor, light sensor, orientation and magnetic field sensor as well on this device so this device supports 5 point multi touch now as far as some pre-installed application which you get on this device uh, you get facebook pre installed you get fm radio on this device you have a file manager as well you get google chrome browser pre installed the default browser is this whereas the icon is different only uh, otherwise the functionality remains the same you also get opera mini which comes pre installed on this device and when it comes to documents to go you also get this application which will allow you to edit documents on the go you also have the option of backup and restore so you have a couple of uh, useful application which come pre installed you also get some messaging application like numbers and whatsapp as well and again whatsapp uh, application over here is actually a downloaded application it is not a link to the whatsapp to the store you also have to do application you also have video player over here which is the default video player and you can use it to play the videos when it comes to other applications you also get the world clock application uh, on this device with which you will be able to track time from different time zones whenever you are traveling so as you can see here we are in the default browser which we have on this device and we have loaded a website garishtools.com and kinetic scrolling is kind of okay not very smooth i must say when when it comes to browsing a web page as you can see uh, when it comes to pinch to zoom pinch to zoom does work but it is kind of little bit laggy when you do it it is not that smooth when it comes to double tap to zoom double tap to zoom does work and this one is a little bit smooth I guess better than the pinch to zoom and when it comes to panning let me just try panning panning is also pretty okay not very smoother again on this device and when it comes to playing YouTube videos within the web page you can play YouTube videos within the web page without opening the YouTube application on the device for the same now we are playing a video from our channel and this video is getting played in high quality format because of the low resolution which we have on this device it is not playing in the high definition format but still the clarity of the video seems to be pretty good and as far as viewing angles are concerned viewing angles are quite good on this device while watching a video there is a little fading of color happening which is pretty okay but you can still watch the video on this device let me just show you the volume of sound which comes out charge your tablets as well as smartphones so the loudspeaker is placed over here and it might get blocked if you actually place it on a table like this but again it will give you good volume of sound even if it is placed on a table and if you hold it the right way you will be able to amplify the sound uh, with your hand like this and this is the maximum volume of sound which you will get from this device so the introduced score which we have got on this device is 13106 which is pretty good score for a device like this and this is how the detailed score look like and if we take a look over the bar chart if we compare it with other devices this is where the device stacks when it comes to comparing it with other devices as you can see so on Ninamark we have got a score of 45.4 fps which is pretty good score for a device like this and again you can play most of the graphic intensive game if not all including Function Commando D-Day Modern Combat 4 as well on this device however you might notice slight lag in the uh, graphics whenever you are playing these games sometimes whenever you are playing these games on this device uh, as far as some other games casual games like Subway Surfer Temple OZ is concerned all these games will run fine on this device without any problem so on Quadrant we have got a score of 383 on this device as you can see and this is how the detail score look like for the input output memory 2d and 3d as you can see and this is how the device ranks when it comes to comparing it with other devices now as far as OTG support is concerned you do not have OTG supported on this device as we have connected a flash drive to this device with the help of OTG cable and it does not detect the flash drive 
So the overall battery life on this device is pretty satisfactory. It will last for one day with moderate usage. For heavy user, it will be less than one day. Uh, when it comes to the overall usage, this device is pretty good. I would like to say the build quality of this device is much better than any other 10,000 rupees phone which you will get in the market. Uh, as far as performance is concerned, the performance is also pretty okay for a 10,000 rupees phone. And we would like to give a thumbs up to Spice Cool Pad from us as far as this device is concerned for the value for money criteria is concerned. As far as high definition video playback is concerned, this device can play high definition videos at 720p as well as at 1080p and let me just show you the same. So let me just play this video as of now which is a 720p video and this video is getting played without any problem as you can see. Let me just turn on the volume. So both the audio and video playback are in sync, there is no issue at all. Let's try playing another video which is at 1080p and this video seems not to be supported on this device. So we do not get either the sound or the video while playing this. Again you can play this video using the MX player if you install it on this device but using the default video player you won't be able to play 1080p videos on this device. Now this is how the camera interface looks like as you can see and if we take a photo right now in indoor light from the back camera, uh, the photo comes out to be pretty okay in terms of the colors but when it comes to the details it is having good amount of noise as you can see. So the photo will be good if you take the photos from this device from the back camera in daylight whereas in low light or with some artificial light you will notice good amount of noise in the photos but the colors will be still better do let us know if you have any specific questions for this device we would love to help you you can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off